Good morning, the tier two report for this month. Uh, Fire and Rescue responded to 22 incidents, four of them suspicious package incidents, one of them uh, highly potent drugs, uh, two fixed facility incidents, one with a hydraulic oil release, one with hydraulic uh, hydrofluoric acid release. Uh, the remaining 16 incidents were uh, accidents, transportation related, resulting in 111 gallons of fuel being released and fire and rescue uh, preventing 796 gallons of fuel from entering the environment. Uh, one of those incidents did result in fuel entering into the Middle Patuxent River. Thank you. Hello everyone. This is meteorologist Austin Mansfield with the National Weather Service in Sterling, Virginia. We're going to be discussing some important summer weather safety tips that pertain to a number of different weather events that we will commonly see throughout the summer months. We'll break down our topics today into four categories with thunderstorm safety, tornado safety, flood safety, and finally heat safety. With each topic we will briefly break down a few important facts about the phenomenon as well as discuss safety procedures involving each one before and during the event. Our first topic is thunderstorms. Summertime increases the chances for thunderstorms and they are very common across our area. While any storm can become problematic, severe storms in particular can be quite dangerous with producing damaging winds, large hail, and sometimes tornadoes. Conditions for these types of events can change very rapidly with conditions deteriorating very fast nearby or overhead in the storm. One important thing to keep in mind is do not second guess how a thunderstorm will evolve. With the possibility of a rapidly changing environment, do not become complacent with the thunderstorm's current state. When a thunderstorm is probable for your area, take shelter in a sturdy structure away from windows. A basement or cellar would be best, but sometimes that may not be available. If that is the case, be sure to find the next best thing in terms of sturdy structures and away from windows. While being in a vehicle is not the most ideal place to take cover during a thunderstorm, it is better than being completely outside exposed to the elements. Remain in shelter until an all clear signal from the National Weather Service. We will either expire or cancel a severe thunderstorm warning in those events. Remain vigilant with what is on radar and any incoming storms by visiting the National Weather Service homepage. Two types of thunderstorm products that we at the National Weather Service will issue. The first being a thunderstorm watch. This is when conditions may become favorable for severe thunderstorms to occur. Be prepared when this is issued by staying up to date with forecasts by our homepage, NOAA weather radios, as well as social media. Monitor sky conditions and know where to take shelter in the event that a storm is approaching. The other product is the severe thunderstorm warning. This is meaning that a severe thunderstorm is currently happening or about to happen. Take shelter immediately when this product is issued for your area. Always take action. Our next topic is tornadoes. While a slightly rarer event than some of the other types of weather phenomena in our area, it has happened and it will happen again. Some tornadoes can have winds exceeding 200 miles per hour. Flying debris from the tornado is very dangerous and most often the cause of death and injuries during tornadoes. With tornadoes, there are similarities with what to do when seeking shelter, but with a few added steps. Seek a sturdy shelter in a basement, storm shelter, or interior room away from windows on the lowest level of the structure and when you're there cover your head this way you can potentially save yourself from significant injuries to the head region every tornado should be seen as life-threatening and should all be taken just as seriously for any of them the image on the bottom right is from an EF1 tornado in Texas back in 2006 in a high school gym this is an example of a place that you do not want to seek shelter during an event like this. Here is a guide on seeking shelter during tornadoes. Starting with the worst options of mobile homes, vehicles, and underneath the highway overpass. Contrary to some beliefs, being under an overpass is dangerous with flying debris possibly channeling under the overpass. 
Large open rooms like gyms as well as manufactured housing are also not ideal options, and you should have a plan in place to seek secondary shelter even if you are closest to those areas. Some good options would be interior rooms of a well-constructed home or building, as well as a basement. These are the most common good options for most individuals. The best option, though, is an above or below ground tornado storm shelter that is NSSA ICC 500 compliant, as well as a specifically designed FEMA safe room. Again, similar to a severe thunderstorm watch, a tornado watch means that a tornado is possible. This is the time to be prepared and ready to take action at any moment. A tornado warning, meaning a tornado is happening or about to happen, and now this is the time to take action and find appropriate sturdy shelter. So we will switch gears to flood safety. During the summer months, we can mostly attribute flooding to heavy rainfall either in short or long durations. Water levels and the rate of water that is flowing can quickly change. More than half of all flood fatalities are vehicle related, with individuals sometimes believing they can safely cross a flooded road. Let us make this very clear. Never drive through floodwaters. Water is one of the most underestimated elements and can be very dangerous. There are two different types of flooding hazards flood and flash flood watches. So with flood watches, conditions are favorable for flooding to occur in an area while flash flood watch means the same, but this is a sudden violent flood that can take from a mere few minutes to hours to develop. One key thing to keep in mind about flash flooding is that even if it's not raining in your area, you can still get flash flooding from rainfall upstream of the area. So again, like we have chimed about with thunderstorms and tornadoes, a watch means that conditions are favorable while a warning is that flooding or flash flooding is happening or about to happen in your area. The biggest safety tips for this is to stay tuned to news sources and be ready to seek higher ground. When the event becomes imminent, take action and move to higher ground and never drive or walk through flooded waters. Our last topic is extreme heat. Heat is one of the leading weather killers in the United States with hundreds of fatalities annually. There are more vulnerable groups of people that need to pay particular attention during extreme heat situations, such as young children and infants, older adults, people with chronic medical conditions, as well as pregnant women. No matter where you are, there are always proper heat safety steps that you can take to prevent heat-related illnesses or injuries. Heat-related deaths are preventable. Heat and humidity takes a toll on the body and what it can endure. Some preventative measures from heat-related illnesses include rescheduling outdoor work until the coolest time of the day or moving it indoors to a more controlled environment. Apply and reapply sunscreen to protect your skin and drink plenty of water to stay well hydrated. There are a number of heat related illnesses to look out for and what to do in the event that it does happen. These are available on the CDC website. Just search extreme heat. We do issue excessive heat watches and warnings. Make sure to have a plan in place with any approaching outdoor activities and care for more vulnerable groups of people. When an excessive heat warning is issued, Avoid heavy activity and direct sunlight. Stay hydrated and find a cool indoor place. Check on children, elderly, and pets. Below are sources for weather info and how to receive it. Our quickest way of getting products out to the public is through the NOAA Weather Radio. Cell phones with weather apps as well as the Wireless Emergency Alert, or WIA, which goes off in the event of a tornado or flash flood warning in your area. Local TV media? We're in constant communication with the broadcast meteorologist for the area, providing updates and information. Social media is updated regularly with any changes that are occurring. Our website is weather.gov LWX and is updated to our latest watches and warnings as well. 
Well, that is all that we have for you. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to our office any time of the day. There are always at least two forecasters on duty at all times. Thank you.